Would that be acceptable, uh, Preet, if the government were to step in here and, you know, say on the 760 million, say the government were to step in and say, look, we will cover that debt, would it be acceptable if the conditions were, for example, a 10% rise in council tax? Well, no, because that's not what we are talking about. The Oracle system, I absolutely appreciate and accept that, you know, the rising costs and the lack of, you know, oversight on that is a real concern. And there needs to be, and, and, I, and I understand there are two reviews that are being taken place to look at the kind of accountability structures around the Oracle. Um, I don't think what we're asking for right now is that level of intervention from government. What it's a recognition is asking the Prime Minister, you've stripped this council out from nearly a billion pounds. It's still got to deliver um, essential services. There are huge demands. On, on, on those. And so it's a recognition that with the pay claim that's already, equal pay claim that's already been made, with the issues around that are now being presented, but of course all these deficit budgets and recognition of that, that is what Birmingham is asking for, is for the government to step in and recognise that and work with it to find a solution. What you don't expect to see a Prime Minister do is unequivocally say, no, he's not going to provide any support. There's lots of other measures that he could be doing and providing support, uh, especially MHCLG working with the City Council. That is what leadership is about, and actually we're not seeing that from this Prime Minister.